Hi Pisces, welcome to your Jan 15th through the 31st of 2018 tarot reading. My name's Serafina Safi, and I'm gonna be doing your tarot reading today. Thank you so much for joining me. Before we get started, I just wanna let you know that I do have a website in the description box below, and I do offer private readings. I have two different kinds. If you click on Shop Now, I have pre-recorded readings that, well, I record them by order and then I put them on YouTube unlisted so you can only see them with a direct link. I get those done within 48 hours of your order. If I need more time I will email you and let you know but right now it's 48 hours. Um, I also have a book now feature which is brand new and you can book now. I have times slots available and if you book now it is more expensive but it's a live Skype call so we can talk one on one which I think is really cool and that's in the description box below. So let's get started on your reading. We're going to start with the Energy Oracle. What is the central theme of our reading, Pisces reading today? Because I am a Pisces Sun, Ascendant, Venus, and Mars. I was born February 21st, 1983. I'm a first decan Pisces. Um, so I have like 80% Pisces, 20% Aquarius in me. Right, uh, so what is the central theme of our reading today? What's the central theme of Pisces reading today? Okay. It's giving me two cards. So there's envy here and there's the temple path. So there's either we're envious of somebody and the temple's right here in the background. So, and then it goes off into this card, you see? You see that? See the temple? It's there in the background of envy. And then we have the temple path. So that's spirituality. So I don't know if somebody's envious, envious of us or we're envious of somebody else. But the way to heal is going on the temple path and getting out in nature, going to our happy place. Oh, and this is coming out. Rest and rejuvenation. So we need to meditate. Meditation will help us. Okay, and I have two decks put together for tarot. Um, I feel that it gives me a better reading because every card can come up twice and I do read reversal, so that gives me four options for every card. And there's two complete decks put together here. Um, so something might come up twice and that's why. And I'm going to be doing a spread. It's kind of like the Romney Gypsy spread, but it's a little bit different. Um, but set up pretty much the same way. So I need three cards for Pisces' current state of mind. What is Pisces' current state of mind, June 15th through the 31st? What is our current state of mind? Okay, so I have two cards, and then I'll have to get another one. So the first thing is the chariot. So this is a major arcana card. This is uh, gaining control of ourselves, of opposing forces. There's a journey. There's a completion here. Um, there's being in control of our emotions. There's appearances can be deceiving. There's um, travel. Uh, a powerful, successful man could be here hiding behind a mask. There's a co-creating our own destiny. And this is cancer energy. So that goes along. We're water signs like a cancer. So it's very emotional, intuitive, sensitive energy. Cancers can be kind of moody. Um, they can be kind of uh, romantic, uh, sentimental, deep, home-loving, very nurturing. And then we have the hermit reversed. Uh, so this is Virgo energy, this is Earth energy, this is being uh, critical, being picky, choosy, uh, this is breaking rules, uh, this is a time to socialize, this is you've already learned your lessons, um, it could be that we're deliberately avoiding going within, uh, feeling powerless, avoiding problems, um, terrible loneliness, 
uh, being left out in the cold by friends and family. These are two major life events side by side. Uh, one is very emotional, one is very grounded. So they do actually go, go along, but there's a feeling of... Uh, a feeling of creating our own destiny, but also being left out in cold, the cold by our friends and family. And that's our state of mind currently. What else is going on in Pisces state of mind? Okay, so I have the Wheel of Fortune. Well, it's the Wheel, wheel of the Year in this deck. Was the Wheel of Fortune reversed? I always see this card as Sagittarius. Sagittarius is actually ruled by Jupiter. This card is ruled by Jupiter, and we are ruled by Neptune and Jupiter. Jupiter is luck. It's the planet of luck. So this is talking about us because we are co-ruled by Jupiter, Jupiter and Neptune. Neptune is all about illusions and fantasies, and Jupiter is all about luck. And it rules Sagittarius and this card as well. Uh, and this is this is more of a fiery card to me. So I always see this as Sagittarius energy, which is very uh, outgoing and optimistic. So our state of mind is very outgoing and optimistic right now. But we're also speaking our mind and being blunt. We're kind of being sarcastic. We're kind of being a little tactless here, uh, spontaneous, but also good, good humored. Um, and we have like this ambition within us. We're being impulsive and we kind of are a little temperamental and very passionate with this card. Um, this is karma. This is challenges. This is um, the past is haunting us. The past is haunting us here a little bit. All right, what are three cards that can help Pisces with self-improvement, spiritual development, and health? Okay, so I have two again. With me, it's always a duality. And then the first thing that comes up is what's been chasing us all along. And I, being a Pisces, Sun, Ascendant, Venus, and Mars, have three Capricorn men in my life right now. Uh, one I've been with for 21 years. One I've been with for 11 <laughs> years. I actually saw them both last night. So this actually makes perfect sense to me. Um, I, I don't know about you all, but it, with Capricorn, it could be any Earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, but this is specifically Capricorn. So we have the Devil, and he's in the reverse. And the Devil card is one of those cards that's really good in the reverse. The pentagram on the Devil, um, basically what the pentagram means is there's five points. So the four points on the sides are the elements earth air fire and water the fifth element is the fifth point at the top and that is spirit well the pentagram it puts spirit last and it puts materialism which is empty you know how the star is like empty right here it puts materialism first and spirit last but whenever it reverses, it puts materialism last and spirit first. So that's good. Um, the devil reversed is freeing yourself. It's being yourself again. It's changing your life, standing in your power. There could be a divorce or a breakup here. There's escaping from abuse. There's walking away. Enough is enough. You get freedom. You conquer. Uh, you're reforming and you're overcoming temptation. So this could be getting out of like drug abuse. Uh, this could be getting out of prostitution. This could be getting out of a toxic, abusive relationship. This is coming out of codependency. This is breaking free from whatever vice that we had. And then we have the Page of Cups. And the Page of Cups is Prince Charming. Um, the Page of Cups is a student. 
the student. Uh, pages are always immature. They can represent a child. So if this is representing a child, it's representing a water sign child, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio child, or a very immature Pisces person uh, because we are Pisces. And this can be an inner child. So this is doing inner child work because we're talking about self-improvement, spiritual development, and health. So I feel like this is just inner child work. Um, they're using psychic development. This is also psychic development because children, pages, they develop. They develop into nights. So this is psychic development because the page of cups is extremely psychic. It's the most psychic card of all of the cards in the entire tarot deck. Uh, so this is psychic development, following our intuition, following gut feelings. This is listening to our inner voice. This is getting dressed up, feeling good about our appearance, uh, forgiving somebody. Um, this could be some emotional immaturity here. Um, cheering up a sad child, that, that, that might be it. Um, but good news is on its way. Whenever the Page of Cups comes, it means the good news is on its way. Um, as a child, the page is soft, gentle, sensitive, always asks if you're okay, likes to play, is always in a fantasy land, seems otherworldly. So far, I'm not getting any conflict, so that's really good. I'm not getting any conflict at all. But I kind of feel like we're being a little bit materialistic. But we are looking towards the future. We're no longer looking at the past. We are looking towards the future. All right, one more card for uh, Pisces, self-improvement, spiritual development, and health. All right, uh, so we have things coming in and moving fast. We have the Eight of Wands. Um, eights are all about change and movement. They're a very airy number to begin with. And this is very powerful energy. It's, it's powerful energy being released at the speed of light. Life taking off, projects, success. We have a lot of phone calls here, a lot of text messages, emails. There's a whirlwind of social activity here. Um, we could be falling in love with somebody. But it's a very trouble-free time. So that's really good. That's really good. All right, family and home. I need three cards for Pisces family and home life currently. Three cards for Pisces family and home life currently. One, two, three. Woo! It gave me three exactly. Perfect. Okay, so the first one is the Queen of Wands. So... The Queen of Wands is very independent, very outgoing. She's spontaneous. She's sexy. She's radiant. She's healthy. She takes charge of a situation. She's determined, independent. You can do this. There's exercise and getting active. There's being open and sincere. Uh, this is the card of Aries. This is I am me. Very self-assertive, strong, self-starter, takes initiative, very passionate, could have a very like volcanic temperament um, where it just erupts out of nowhere and then the whole like village is in destruction and turmoil, but then they're over it and the volcano is like, hey, what, what's going on? I'm fine. And the whole town's like, ah, we're, we're all dead. And he's like, I don't care. And that's how Aries is. He's very volcanic temperament. Um, this could be a man or a woman. It's not gender specific. Um, in terms of relationships, she values freedom and has a very independent life, is very open and honest. Um, encourages growth and self-acceptance in their partner. Um, they're a whirlwind of efficiency, a brilliant organizer. Could be like an event manager, likes to bring people together, acts on feelings and uses inner strength to achieve goals, active in many clubs. 
always rushing to get things done, thrives on excitement and drama, loves a good fight. Then we have another major life event. We have the magician and he's in the upright. So um, the fool, so it's the fool's journey. There's tw there's a major arcana and there's a minor arcana. Uh, the minor arcana is day-to-day -day life events and it looks like a regular playing deck. And then the major arcana are major life events. It starts with zero, which is the full, and it ends with 21, which is the world, which is the card of completions and endings. Um, but there's 22 cards because it starts with zero. So the fool decides that he wants to make the journey. So we need the magician and the high priestess, and they are the sexual intercourse that brings forth the very idea of the fool coming into the physical realm. And then we have the empress and the emperor that helps the fool along his journey by grounding him and bringing him forth onto the physical plane. So the empress and the emperor are the mother and father of the fool. Um, so the magician is the male aspect of the sexual intercourse that brings the fool into the manifestation of the physical realm but he's still just an idea he hasn't been birthed yet he has to incubate um so this is before the incubation this is just the the very idea and i always see this as a virgo energy um or gemini virgo or gemini energy and this is following a dream, a golden opportunity, miracles, a flash of inspiration, personal power, control, knowledge, selling yourself, potential, resourcefulness, manifestation, doing something, something miraculous is about to happen, uh, the power's in your hands. Um, you have everything that you need to succeed, determination, Master of public speaking, communication in general, um, powerful man that likes to be in charge. So we have a powerful man twice. And we have lots of major life events going on right now. But we have the ability to manifest whatever we want in terms of our home and family. Uh, so we're in the position of manifestation. And then we have the nine of swords so i don't like this <laughs> but this is what we have okay um so we're we have to work with the cards that were dealt so the nine of swords is the dark night of the soul there's anxiety here there's sleepless nights there's worry nightmares um never-ending circle your mind spirals in never-ending circles you're feeling alone you're on the edge of sanity here and this is gemini again so the magician is actually ruled by mercury gemini is also ruled by mercury so that's why i see it as the card of gemini um so we have gemini twice here i'm going to say the magician it could be virgo or gemini but i I really see it more as Gemini and Mercury is the planet of communication um, so the, there's a the winds of change there's being a free spirit there's being adaptable social friendly talkative I'm just getting I'm getting my I think mercury communication energy very strong there so what's going on in our uh, pisces romantic and social life what's going on in pisces romantic and social life three cards for pisces romantic and social life right, here's one two so i have the eight of swords reversed the six of swords reversed again we're getting that communication energy Right, and then I have the moon reverse, which is cancer energy, which is going back into that water energy, back into our energy. 
So first let's start with the Eight of Swords in the reverse. So Eights are all about change and movement. Air is all about change and movement. Swords are air cards. So this is all about change and movement. This is the card of Gemini, which is all about communication. Um, this is frustration. Well, no, this is freedom. This is a way out. This is self-acceptance. You're breaking the chains and you're getting out. Um, so that's really good. And there's definitely some communication here. And then we have the Six of Swords in the reverse. This is um, Aquarius energy, so this is a little bit rebellious. And this is carrying baggage and unable to move on. So we're getting free, but then we're also carrying baggage and unable to move on in the same sense. And we're heading towards the past. So we're blinded to the future and we keep looking at the past. And then we have the moon in reverse. Um, so when the moon reverses, it's about nightmares. And we have the nine of swords here, which is also about nightmares. Um, this is uh, imaginations running wild. Fear of setting on a new journey, not using intuition, buried memories from the past, which is why we need to do this inner child work that the Page of Cups is telling us that we need to do. And we also do need to do meditation, which is what the central theme of the reading is telling us to do. Um, yeah, there's a, there could be addictions here addictions all right what's going on with our money what's going on with Pisces money all right so I have the world there's a card of completions here this is uh, the full came full circle lasting success so there's lasting success we built something that's going to last in terms of financial freedom there's perfection here there's attainment of financial wealth there's promotions, there's like a graduation. So this would be like if you went to school, you completed your school, you completed the full cycle, which is the world, you were the fool and then you completed the cycle. So you graduated. There's praise, there's ceremony, there's maturity here. There's good health and uh, good wealth. And what else is going on with Pisces money? What else is going on with Pisces money? Okay, so I have the Three of Pentacles. So there's teamwork here. There's uh, gaining qualifications. You're still building things. Um, you're not cutting corners. This is Capricorn energy. So this is very ambitious, responsible, disciplined, hardworking, prudent, a good provider. Uh, this is the money card. So that's good. And what else is coming with our money? All right, and then I have the High Priestess, which is our energy. This is Pisces energy. And this is the subconscious mind, deep feelings, understanding intuition, uh, time alone, following your own path, inner wisdom, secrets, hidden spirituality, um, a need to go deeper for answers. Not everything is obvious at first glance. There's a formation of plans, ideas, and dreams. It's not a time for action or moving. All right, three cards for Pisces are work, career, and life purpose. Three cards for Pisces, work, career, and life purpose. One, two, three. Okay, perfect. All right, the first we have is the Nine of Wands. And uh, this is kind of conflicting with the High Priestess. The Nine of Wands in the reverse is being on edge, defensive, paranoid. Um, this is Sagittarius energy, so it could be very quick-tempered, um, kind of tactless. Then we have Death reversed, which is Scorpio energy, and this is a refusal to accept change, refusal to move on, stagnation, stuck in the past being afraid of what tomorrow will be, bring, uh, coming out of a time of mourning bow. And this is a uh, very vengeful, vindictive, passionate, intense, all or nothing energy, very mysterious and secretive. 
And then we have the Nine of Cups in the reverse. Um, so the Nine of Cups, when he, it reverses, that's greed, dissatisfaction, and materialism, and that is our energy, that is Pisces energy. So in terms of money, I see that our money is really good, uh, really good, excellent, actually. But our work, career, and life purpose, there is a lot of conflict and a lot of emotions and a lot of greed and materialism and uh, not accepting change and being stuck in the past even though things need to die we need to cut something out and move forward um, so what is the outcome for for us what's the outcome for Pisces what's the outcome for Pisces three cards for the outcome for Pisces so it wants to give me four, five, five cards for the outcome. Well, yeah, I'll go ahead and keep it. All right, so I have the Knight of Cups in the reverse. So that's going back to our energy. That is water energy. And this is a heartbreaker, a womanizer, a user, a narcissist. This is sex, drugs, and alcohol abuse. This is sugar cravings. Um, this is this could be homosexuality. Uh, this could be someone who's very manipulative, moody, a flirt. Uh, this is lust. This is someone who uses other people, and this is a gossiper. And that is a card of narcissism. I have the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. So there's a lost opportunity. There's a lack of planning and foresight. And this could be any Earth sign. Um, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Then I have the Four of Wands in the reverse. And this is a break in communication, a transition. I have the Five of Wands in the reverse. There's conflict avoidance. There's agree to disagree. And that's Leo energy. And then I have the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. And uh, that is over-invested in work and it's Virgo energy <clears throat> so if you don't like the outcome you can change it that's why you get a tarot reading because the future is moldable it's malleable and you get a tarot reading to see what's coming so then you can make changes accordingly so what I'm seeing is there's a narcissist in our mess with the Knight of Cups reversed there's definitely some manipulation, some gossip, and it looks like it's somebody from our past who looked like Prince Charming, but they're actually not. I have the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, so it could have been an Earth sign. And there's a, a lost opportunity here, and it's a lost opportunity in terms of financial freedom or health. Um, the Four of Wands. There is um, a lack of celebrations. There could be multiple people involved in a relationship here. Um, and then there's a lot of fighting, but there needs to be more fighting. There's conflict avoidance. And then I have the Nine of Pentacles, so there's not a feeling of abundance here. There's not, there's not a lot of... Not a lot of growth in the final outcome. All right. Is there any other messages for Pisces? Any other messages for Pisces? Okay, there's a lack of balance. We need to get back in balance. All right, Pisces, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, please consider subscribing to my channel. I do offer bi-monthly tarot readings and I do offer um, meditation affirmation videos and sometimes I do even more um, readings than just bi-monthly. So please consider subscribing. I am a Pisces Sun Ascendant Venus and Mars so I have that extra insight on Pisces because I am one. Uh, quadruple Pisces to be to be exact. Um, also, if you would 
please comment. I love to read and hear the comments. Um, and I do have that website up if you would like a private reading. Have a wonderful day, Pisces. Again, thank you so much for joining me today.